the PALS diagnosis, and which is very unique now in Chinese medicine. In fact, there's a three places we can take a PALS. One from your neck, or secondly is your wrist and hand, or your ankle from the feet. So, but normally we take the PALS from the sort of wrist, so your hands. So a few things what we pay attention. Number one, of course, is the speed of the pulse, how fast and uh, how slow. But of course, in ancient time, we don't have a watch. So we, how do we judge the, the kind of speed of the patient to pulse, whether you say fast or slow? So what do we do is that uh, we ask, we normally ask a doctor to be quiet, sitting there first, relax. And then the doctor's pulse Normally, one breathing in one and out is about four times heart beating. So it's one to four ratio. So, so we use this as a base. Uh, if patients, you know, when you're breathing in and out, if patient pulse become five times or six times, so that means this patient pulse is faster. If, if your pulse become much slower than four times, that means the pulse are much slow. So that's the engine, the time, you know, Chinese doctor to, to, to judge whether the pulse is slow or fast, according to doctor's breath and the beating of heart. We see the pulse, the strength. We say there's a weak pulse, there's a strong pulse or in the between. And uh, normal people should be in between or slightly strong, not too weak. And, uh, but of course, the certain time of the people certain time can be weak for example for women you know if you just had a heavy bleeding period so your blood become a little bit weakened so your pulse be weak or people just say women just after giving birth so the pulse normally weak so, but if your pulse is weak without any other reason so therefore we will say this this person is either blood deficiency or qi deficiency and also very interesting, we have another thing we call them the shape of the pulse. What that means, means for example, when you feel the pulse, you, you're underneath of your finger. Sometimes you feel like you touch it like a violin, like a string, so very thin. So we call them, you know, very thin pulse. So this kind of pulse is it normally indicates people in the pain or distress or people you know, depressed or emotionally something blocked. But if he's somebody opposite, the pulse rather become very big, you know, and like a rolling. And, uh, and so that's what we call like rolling pulse. And that means your body have some kind of dampness or phlegm in the body. So it become too much in the system. So this is another way of diagnosis of the, this phlegm and damp. So, and also, apart from diagnosing the pulse, the speed and regular, and the, the strength, also we see the regularity. You sometimes the pulse, you know, become irregular. You know, every minutes, every few few bits, you're missing one, or the, the beating note regularly as should be. So, and if it's beating very fast and become an irregular, we say those are the heat and the problem. If it's slow, become irregular. We say there's a lot of a weakness or even some kind of failure of the heart. And, uh, and, then, and then, of course, when we feel the pulse, doctor normally use three fingers to take pulse of everybody or, or on, on each side. So sometimes we say that three fingers indicate three parts of the body. So up, middle, lower part of the body. So it depends on which part of the pulse are weak. So it means which part of the body are weak. So therefore, this is a all, if you put together, I give you a good picture of the body. So without even to go to blood tests. And the people say, well, can that be really reliable? Well, I think, you know, it's not 100% reliable. And uh, like say, you can't really tell what kind of blood pressure people will have, but it will give you good sort of uh, indication what kind of blood pressure or heart beating. So this is still very 
widely used in Chinese medicine.